Hello friends, welcome to Info Talks. Today we are with a video which is a part of series set up WordPress blog in 5 easy steps. So this is a part 3 video step 3 plugins unleash in which we will discuss about plugins, what are plugins, why are they used and what are the recommended plugins and settings of those recommended plugins even. Although everything has been described in the ebook set up WordPress blog in 5 easy steps which if you have, you have not taken yet uh, so please you can take it through the detail section we, I'll place a link there and hopefully you have learned how to install a WordPress theme which was in our last video if you, if you have not seen that video so please see that video it will be mentioned in the detail section as well as in the i button so let's begin with plugins so plugins are additional features to be added to a WordPress website. So plugins add some features, some things like plugins for SEO, plugins for some additional facility like adding a contact page, like adding a Google map or so many such things. So we will discuss first how to install those plugins. Like this is our dashboard which we have seen in our last video. There is an option of plugin here in which there is installed plugins and add new plugin. So add new is to add a plugin new which is not existing in the current plugin. So we will click on install plugins first to see what plugins are installed. Normally when you install a theme or WordPress there are few default plugins installed. It depends upon the hosting provider also few hosting provide you with few good plugins default. So you can use them. Still I'll tell you all those plugins which are necessary and which I have applied myself and checked their performance on my own website. So these are the plugins which are already installed. So when plugin is installed it will show you deactivate means it is already activated. First you install like theme then you activate. Like this is a plugin estimate anti spam, it is installed because it is visible, so it means it is installed, but it is not activated. So when I'll click on activate, it will get activated, and if I click on delete, it will get deleted. Similarly, there are plugins which need update, uh, it will show you like this. So I will recommend that you please update these plugins as as and when you see uh, new updates are available because these updates are good useful so now we will see how to install a new plugin if you want to install a new plugin click on this add new button now you are able to see there are so many plugins listed here these are default and popular plugins are there recommended favorite so many things it will show you the plugin which is installed and not activated it will show like this an activate button it is not installed it will show install now and the plugin which is installed it will show installed right so these are few plugins whenever i need to add any plugin i'll just type in here it will be available if it is not available then you can search that plugin on google or you have purchased a paid plugin which is not available here so it will be just like themes you will get a zip file that you have to upload. We will see just now how to upload this plugin. But first, uh, I'll show you like say I I want a plugin on some health. I can say right. So if something is uh, visible like that, or it will show you. So health checking for your website plugins are available. So now you can see them. Also, do check that compatibility with your version of WordPress. This should be there, this is recommended. If it is not compatible with your version of WordPress, then it should not be used. Otherwise, it will create few problems inside. So always I recommend to check this one. And second thing is rating. The rating and number of installs and active installs are more that particular plugin is good to be used. So like this, you can select the plugin. Now we will see upload plugin. So you will click on upload plugin button, choose file and install. It will be easily installed like we did themes. So it's it's so easy to install. Now we'll see uh, we'll install one plugin and see how it works like. So for that we'll install a plugin named Broken Link Checker. This plugin you will find 
in your recommended plugin list too. So I am searching this plugin. See, it's not installed, so it's showing install now. I'll click on install. It started installing. This is a very important plugin. It basically tells you any broken link in your post or page content you have posted because broken links degrade your site's performance in Google as well as for the viewers. So it's installed now. I will activate this plugin. Once activated, it will start working. You don't need to make much settings to this plugin. It's all default settings done. Still, I'll show you a few settings of it. Like this is installed. Now it's available here. If you want to deactivate, you can deactivate that I have told you previously. Now we'll go to settings. In settings, there are few default settings. You can see, you can read it's very easy. Uh, but I'll recommend that keep maximum links because most of the links, uh, wherever it's broken link, it will automatically in inform you and that is very good for the website health. When it intimates you, you can just check that link and you can update that post where the link is placed. So this was broken link checker option. Now we'll start one by one with all the recommended plugins which you can refer in the ebook. So first plugin, I'll show you those plugins where I've installed those plugins. So first plugin is Eskimet Anti-Spam Plugin. This is a plugin which is very good for controlling the spams and malicious content which anyone can post through comments or contact form to your website. It will block those things and intimate you for that. This plugin is although paid plugin still there is a trick which I have given which is legal through which you can get it for free. You have to get an API key generated for it otherwise it will show you to purchase it. So all the steps are mentioned in the ebook which is, I'll not tell you here because there might be some problem you will be able to do that and it happens that it will take some time more time. Okay. So it's a very good plugin you don't need to do any settings you just install it it will automatically start working for you. Next plugin I have told you that is broken link checker. Other plugin is Yoast SEO. Yoast SEO friends is a very important plugin because it helps us in SEO of our website. So it does help us in SEO configuration then few settings help us in doing SEO. When we will be showing you the video for posting blog and uh, content then we'll show you how to configure that particular blog with SEO but prior to that you need to install Yoast SEO and configure it. So this is Yoast SEO it looks like this I will go to the journal setting tab to start with. The first thing which we'll do in Yoast SEO is configure the search engines. So search engines configuration you will go to webmaster tools. In webmaster tool you will uh, be able to see four webmaster uh, search engines. Baidu is Chinese uh, search engine. It's not necessary to do configure it. Still if you want this is a link given you can go from here and you can configure it. If you if the uh, code is reverted you can place it here. But Bing and Google should be done. Yandex is also not mandatory. I have not done it. You can do it. Right, so all the instructions are given in the ebook. It's very easy on link. Click of this link, it will automatically tell you. In Bing, also, you can use your Gmail email ID, same which you are using in your Google. Both places you have to submit your website and you can submit the sitemap as well. And they'll give you a code, and that code need to be placed here. So once you place the code here, it will be done. But don't forget to save the changes. Saving changes is important because whatever you have done will go. Right. So it was journal, then it's search appearances. We will show how search appearances setting should be done. So in case of search appearances, first we will start with the journal tab. In journal tab, we will uh, Declare the title separator, every title separator you can use. Okay, SEO title should be tagline and organization details you can fill in. Then next is content types. 
content types you can keep all the post content types as given you can uh, keep the snippets variables and meta description as provided then there is pages option this elementor elementary library option is available only when you use some landing page platform uh, plugin like i am using elementor pro and uh, similarly main munch will also be visible when you use mail munch which i have uh, given as recommended so in mail munch the settings will be same like i have made you can just use these settings if you have any query you can just post me uh, as a comment then next comes the media tab keep it yes we recommend to keep it yes save the changes taxonomy is taxonomy setting is given you can keep the taxonomy settings as given for formats for tags and for posts even so categories and all you can give it it helps you in searching these categories contents and all category description and all then comes the archive setting keep it disabled don't enable it and there are special pages option you can just add the separate title search phrase which i have given and save the changes breadcrumbs keep it disabled rss also keep it default then comes the search console option search console option you need to add google settings when you go to settings when you go to settings it will ask you to authenticate it it will give a button get google authentication code you can refer the ebook i have mentioned the screenshot or even there you will get that google authentication code on click of that button through google same uh, which you set uh, made a setup in google webmasters then code you can place here that is a separate code you will pay, pay, paste the code there and authenticate now it will ask you similar button as re authenticate right so this is how you will make this setting next comes the social button social button is good you can place all the social urls here from starting on accounts like i have paste facebook you can pay, paste all those which are available and enable the facebook settings further settings i don't think it's required you can place the image url uh, if you want similarly in twitter keep it enabled pinterest you can do one thing you can just confirm your site with pinterest which helps you in automatically submitting whatever post uh, or images you have done to pinterest account of yours so this was social setting now comes the tools in tools there is not much import and export is there file editor and bulk editor is there that you can use uh, that is not normally used much now next plugin which we are going to discuss is jetpack jetpacks protect against you brute force and attacks and unauthorized logins its basic subscription is free which is normally uh, does the work you don't need to buy a subscription so we will see its settings in short although all the settings are default there is no much setting to be made here but still i'll show you so uh, you can refer the ebook always uh, monitor your site downtime helps you in checking whether your site was up or not if your server provider is not giving good uptime then it will show you whenever for how much time the site was down so that is very good in knowing about your server's performance because none of your visitors will tell you that your site was not working rather they won't visit again so protect yourself from brute force algorithm this you can uh enable that is what in security in performance enable site accelerator enable lazy loading for images helps improving the performance of your website in writing section uh, just enable these two and enhance css customization panel nothing has to be disturbed in sharing section automatically share your post in social network definitely you should do that all sharing buttons to your post add like button to your post and pages in discussion section enable pop up business card over commenters so allow you to subscribe your post and comment see your notification by email next last one is traffic traffic section you enable the generate site map xml site map and creates 
short and simple link for all posts and pages so this is very good and verify your site with various services so it will check and tell you whether your website was verified with all those others or not like my site it is showing it's verified with google but not with bing pinterest and all so it will automatically inform you about that so friends this was jetpack it's a very good plugin next is wordpress importer Word, wordpress importer is used to import or take backup of your website it's also good plugin you can just take its name from the ebook copy paste and you can just install it even i'll show you here so it's good you can take backup of all the content which you have posted on your website no self pings another plugin is no self pings this is a good plugin which helps reduce unnecessary things on your website and uh, increase unnecessary traffic uh, sometimes it happens that your own posts which are referring to your internal post uh, start pinging uh, your website so this helps us in that to so install this no additional setting to be made in this next plugin is very important i am going to tell you is mail munch it is used for designing forms and landing pages which i think all of you just want to do that and i'll show you how it is doing like say this is a form which is shown here where i can uh, uh, call my subscriber and there are few forms like a pop up comes moving and landing pages you want to make so we'll just see in short how it is happening uh, go to mail munch go to forms here you can see that i have created two forms uh, if you want to add a new form it will give you a button which will say add add new this is a new form button right here so we will not create a new form rather i'll tell you uh, the same way if i can edit this form i'll click on edit it will take me to the mail munch website and uh, friends don't forget when you install this mail munch it will ask you to create a login which is free of cost you can create it with the same gmail id try to keep email central in the same email using everywhere so when you will create for new it will directly take you to themes you can select any paid theme and normally you can do it with a free theme also because we can customize the design later on right so i'll select one theme which i have already selected i'll go to the message tab see this is my design i have selected i can add and banner image i can change the text i can change all these things like headline footnote right and thank you message also when someone subscribes they will get a message over there so this is a message next is appearance you can change the background color overlay submit button color and all these things you can change the size of the form as well or pop up basically next comes the fields you can select the fields i have kept three fields i'll show you one field like this is a field if you want this field to be required check this on if you don't want this field to be required don't tick this option and you can yourself declare what should be the label and what should be the placeholder text placeholder text is something which is visible here when uh, where anyone will type it's already vis visible here so i don't want it to show label so i didn't click if i will click it will show the label i don't want it to show label because label is already visible here it will take more space so this was the fields next is the behavior when someone is submitting the form what should be uh, one do after that you can after user clicks you can take it to some post or some place or some website as you wish you can just select it and next last option is integrate integrate means you can integrate this mailchimp option to some email provider so that your subscribers should get a automated email or subscriber list is created there because in future this subscriber collection is very important for your blog this is the most important part of your blog the more subscribers you gain the more uh, visitors you have because whenever you post any blog then these subscribers should be intimated for these blog new blog posted on their email like you whenever you subscribe any blog you will start getting receiving emails from them 
so that is automated emails which you can create through uh, various email providing services so here i have used mailchimp so mailchimp provides you free of cost email uh, around uh, 12000 emails per month and uh, 2000 subscribers so that is a very good amount of uh, free subscribers it's offering so i have opted opted that i'll show you like this uh, if whenever you come first it will show you this kind of form where all these providers will be there i have selected mailchimp you can select anyone else and other than mailchimp which are the very good paid and uh, good uh, email service providers i'll place those links in the description section you can refer that because those are tested by us uh, in terms of their quality their performance and their pricing so you don't need to make much research on this you can just go with those links and whatever you find useful with your pocket and payment you can just start using then finally you will click on publish form when you click on publish form it is done it is uh, like it will be here and start you, uh, working so this was all for form similarly you can create landing pages it's all the same there is no much difference in landing pages basically landing pages you need to design a page it's just a form in landing page you can have a form you can have some other content like header and other thing which any normal page can have so there are all the options and wizard given and templates as well you if you don't know how to design much then you can use the uh, those templates and go ahead basically content still you need to post on yourself because content no one will be able to provide you next plugin is wp forms live so we will see this plugin WP form light is used for creating contact form you can use this plugin this is a very good plugin and it's very simple you don't need to do anything in that uh, just install this plugin this is a WP form light plugin you can install it and it's very easy and next is WP DB manager plugin it improves your website performance by removing additional space which the database is taking and it's very good you should install it does it automatically another plugin is updraft plus i told you about taking backups uh, option with a plugin name wordpress importer but updraft plus backup and restore plugin is an additional thing you can set up a uh, default backup to your google drive or any other space so it becomes very easy these spaces you you can store your data as a backup and from some third party space in case of any problem with your website hosting you will have a backup of your complete website so that is a very good thing next plugin is html page sitemap it, it is used to create sitemaps uh, to your page so it's very important and you should use this uh, particular plugin So there is a short code uh, HTML sitemap wherever you want to show those sitemap in page. Like we will tell how to create pages. There I will show you how we have created a sitemap page. So uh, currently this much is uh, you install this plugin just and rest will take care in the later sections. Last plugin friends is Smash Image Compression and Optimization plugin. Smash is a image compression and optimization plugin which is very good. Uh, like i am using some other paid plugin so i have deactivated it because it was conflicting with that still it is a very good plugin earlier i you was using it since long yeah, whenever you post an image on your wordpress uh, blog post it automatically reduces its size according to web so that your page speed becomes very fast and page loading time reduces so do install this plugin there is much uh, not much setting in this Uh, you can use uh, to select the free option there is no need to make payment in that now friend this is these were the recommended plugins there are few optional plugins as well you can refer the ebook in which one is classic editor classic editor plugin is used to uh, have a classical view of posting blogs and content which normally people like if you want you can install otherwise it gives you the latest uh, option uh, in which basically which is called as gutenberg uh, which is the latest editor if you don't want that you can install it but if check first check it go to settings and writing if you don't get classical option then only install this plugin to have a classical editor right
so that is all with screenshots uh, stated in the ebook please refer that next uh, optional plugin is wp google maps google maps plugin is for basically uh, creating a map on your website if it is a firm or business you want to want people to come to your place through your website you can install this plugin and set up your latitude longitude details your address location so that anyone can track and come to you very easily it's very good plugin if you want to have this particular thing and all the details how to configure it is mentioned in our uh, ebook so next is social media share button social icon plugin so that is social media share button and social icon plugin where you can place social icons on your website whenever user wants to share it on social network you just click on facebook and land to his own facebook page and that post is automatically shared so it's a very good plugin if you want you can use it my theme provides me it's a paid theme it provides me those this facility automatically so i have not used it next is gt translate gt translate you can use if you don't get google translate option in the widgets which we will be discussing later on you can install it uh, in, if it is not available just to create a multilingual facility on your website so that all the content can be translated in any other language friends now last plugin is amp for wp it is accelerated mobile pages accelerated mobile pages is a google amp project which they have developed so that websites starts resolving fast on mobile phones so uh you don't uh, i don't recommend you to use this plugin unless and until you refer the ebook completely or you have no prior knowledge of configuring it because this plugin can uh block so many things on your website and it it might stop working so i'll recommend you to go step by step with the ebook where i have mentioned every step which is being already tried and tested then only uh, told to you so that is uh, it will be better friends one more plugin in additional it uh, i'll like to tell you about that is wp rocket plugin wp rocket plugin increases your website speed by more than 20% uh, about this plugins configuration also i have mentioned in the ebook and i'll show you in short uh, here also so it's a very good plugin you can use this plugin if you want to install increase the speed of your website but unfortunately this is a paid plugin you cannot uh, use there is no free license for this plugin or trial so uh, it improves improves your uh, mobile website caching file optimization reduces the size of the files media that's why i have removed smush because it's giving me already that option and so many other things and definitely i have found it very good to increase website speed it's not necessary you use it now currently you just start creating your website in future whenever you want you can add it and increase the speed of your website so friends this was all about plugins if you have any other problem if you want to know about any plugin you can just post me in the comment section i'll definitely reply to you with all your queries if you uh, have any uh, configuration issues with uh the plugins we have stated then also you please state us we'll be happy to help you so this was all about the step 3 of the ebook and don't forget referring the ebook and even don't forget to see the uh, further video of step 4 5 and 6 which will be a bonus video for uh, this ebook where we will be discussing all the remaining things in the process of setup of wordpress blog which is our title setup wordpress blog in 5 easy steps so i hope this video must be useful for you and uh, that's all for today thank you and goodbye